Dear Mrs. McSheehy, I was born into a military family and moved a lot as a child. By my best count, I think I attended at least six different elementary schools in three states and two countries. Fortunately for me, God was looking out for me, though. He placed me in a class with an amazing teacher who not only went out of her way to make my time in her class unforgettable, she even helped me transition into my new school easily. Do you remember me, Mrs. McSheehy? I never forgot you. I fell in love with reading in your classroom, Mrs. McSheehy. Teachers rarely get the recognition they deserve. It is even rarer that they get to find out what a difference they made in a child's life. As powerful as Eloise was, it was just a breeze compared to you, Mrs. McSheehy. Thank you so much. Thank you for being so kind to me way back then. Thank you for instilling me in me a love of reading. It has enriched my life immeasurably and allowed me great success. Thank you. Thank you. And I carried it with me and still have it to this day her copy of Where the Red Fern Grows. It was wonderful. We reconnected almost instantly on the phone when we talked. And then uh, I went down to Florida in, uh, in February, uh, towards the end of February, for the Pensacola Film Festival. And that was the first time I'd seen her. Um, we actually met up at the elementary school. Oh, we did, where yes, she taught. We picked right up where we left off 44 years before. I, I do, I feel guilty that I got this letter and other people haven't and they deserve it. They really, really do. You know, she's a great educator in that um, she knew how to teach, but she knew how to make kids re really feel like she cared for them. And you know, that's how kids want that, and they react and respond to it. You knew you were in a loving environment with somebody who really, really cared about you and wanted the best for you.